I suppose I was asking for trouble. Swan white limbs, lanky and with ginger hair. Early Saturday evening in Glasgow amidst the aftermath of a sectarian bout is no time to be pounding the streets in shorts and a crop top. My running route through Partick is punctuated with pubs. I don't deviate for anyone, cutting through the pissed pavement manspreaders like a torpedo. As in life, so in running. You can always feel it coming, of course. If you fingered the air like someone deftly reading Braille, it would be there. Nice touching! <sighs> the guy sporting five bellies and a complexion redder than my tresses sucks on his fag outside the pub and leans back triumphantly like he's just delivered the winning goal at that afternoon's match. Eh, likewise, mate, I shoot back. His friends guffaw right in his face as he stares furiously into his pint, no longer held aloft like that afternoon's trophy. I pray that the traffic lights release me from running on the spot five feet from his emasculated form. Fucking cow. And there we have it. A reminder that in the 21st century, you're still not used to your very much ornament. It's ubiquitous. My particular postcode has past form in this conviction. Cycling home years ago in a dress on a male racing bike, the words, I can see your fanny, are delivered with a drunken sneer. Yep, yeah, I'm also looking at a cunt. And then it kicks in. That specific bit of spare energy that all females unwittingly keep in reserve in case they have to walk or run or cycle a little bit faster in order to avoid peril, like a living, breathing set of human dynamos spread right across the city. Almost 50 now, I last ran properly in my early 20s. Depressed, highly anxious, half mad from a starvation diet, I'd streak from my hillhead tenement at 4am, the Blue Nile in my ears and the River Clyde in my eyes. But as fast and as far as I went though, I just kept running smack bang into myself. But not anymore though. Two decades on and I finally cracked it. The start of this year, and I'm ready to stick a shotgun in my mouth. 2016 onwards brings mind-bending infidelity, the death of a parent and the lingering pain of shingles. Apparently, even my teeth are planning their escape, threatening to separate from my gums like unhappy lovers secretly dividing up a shared record collection in their heads. And then a friend who really ought to know better suggests that I try weight training. It's hard for a reason. To succeed you need to be possessed. Five months on and my burning brain has stopped worrying and I'm stronger, fitter and more confident about my body than I've ever been in my entire life. 23 pounds lighter, these racehorse legs run three 5Ks a week and my back and torso undulate with muscle in a way that I never thought was possible. Nice tits, hen! Don't I fucking know it?